Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. And I'm sorry I've been gone for about a week. I dropped my laptop on the way home from Louisiana, jammed the USB thing into the thing here, and I just had time to call to the warranty company, and the lady showed me how to make my laptop work. <laughs> so tonight I'm doing a video, and in fact I'm going to do a reading. Um, my laptop is going to have to go away for 10 days, and I think I'm going to use my cell phone. I don't like using my work computer for this, just because our friends at the NSA, you know, the day after I called all those uh, elected officials on my computer on the radio show, Skype was removed from my computer <laughs> on my PC, so... I'm not doing that no more. I'm just seriously not going to use my PC for anything related to anti-nuclear stuff as much as I can. Look, uh, this is a book I quote all the time on my radio show by Lao Tzu. And I wanted to share a poem with you that is really speaks to today. So... This was written... If And, and many of you probably don't know Lao Tzu... He's a Chinese philosopher that they say, uh, this is what it says, Legends as to Lao Tzu are more or less familiar. Immaculately conceived to a shooting star, carried in his mother's womb for 62 years, and born, it is said, white-haired in 604 B.C., he became, in due time, the keeper of imperial archives at Luoyang, and the ancient capital of what is now the Chinese province of Honan. So he's a very influential poet, politician, person of his time. And this person, Witter Viner, uh, translated much of his poetry. And this book is called The Way of Life. It's quite famous. It has really great poems in it. But I want to share this with you. Number 29, those who would take over the earth and shape it to their will never, I notice, succeed. The earth is like a vessel so sacred that at the mere approach of the profane it is marred. And when they reach out their fingers it is gone. For a time in the world some force themselves ahead and some are left behind. For a time in the world, some make a great noise and some are held silent. For a time in the world, some are puffed fat and some are kept hungry. For a time in the world, some push aboard and some are tipped out. At no time in the world will a man who is sane overreach himself, overspend himself, overrate himself. So that was written a long time ago and it sure speaks to the human condition, doesn't it? I think that's what's happened here with the nuclear industry. They have seriously overrated themselves. They have done nothing but hope that everything goes along perfectly swell. Look what's happening in St. Louis right now. St. Louis, Missouri, the home of the world's first nuclear dump site in the United States, secretly buried, illegally sold, now leaking contamination, and as of tonight, grotesquely underwater and spreading radiation throughout the entire metropolitan area of St. Louis. And not one person on the television is going to speak about it. Not one. And why is that? Because their bosses are all... CEOs, chairman of the nuclear industry, and they do not want to hurt their bottom line, their profit. They just view nuclear pollution as just like hmm, coal ash or no big deal. It's not that bad, except that it is bad, and we know it's bad. John Goffman has outlined it so much in all of his books. It takes four generations for nuclear pollution to show up its harm. Uh, the real harm that it causes is not the current generation that gets cancer, diabetes, you know, uh, heart attacks. The real harm is four, three, four generations down the line when you cannot reproduce, when everything is mutated. And we know this. So as we go into 2016, can we believe it? It's been 
five years since Fukushima has been going on. Five years, folks. And it's going to continue to be ignored. They're in so deep, they have to just keep smiling. Be happy. Let's celebrate the new year and let's not talk about the pollution that's killing every species on this planet. Tim Martin called me today and said, aren't you worried about the world? Actually, I'm not worried. Worries like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do but doesn't get you anywhere. Um, I am concerned about the world and actually I'm not even concerned about the world because the world will take care of itself. I'm concerned about my children, my family, my friends, all of you out there in YouTube land, the people that are real on this planet right now. My goal is to help us learn how to live in the age of fission, how to keep ourselves healthy as best we can, how to stop the nuclear monsters. And that is, unfortunately, you guys, we have to get politically involved. We have to stop and change legislation. I'm going to school to become an attorney so that I can take on the Price-Anderson Act. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I can't wait to meet up with other law students engaged in this activity. But um, I just wanted to put a word out to everybody tonight and say, you know what? Our happiness is from within. So no matter what happens out there, it's from us. And if you're having a trouble, if you're having really a hard time finding that sense of peace and joy, seriously, the tapping... You want to start here on your karate chop and you tap even though I can't decide to be happy and even though the world's all so oppressive and there's so much trouble and so much harm coming on, how could I possibly even think about being happy and my body's falling apart and oh my God, I just can't think about my kids getting cancer and all the stuff that might happen to us. Even though all of that, I deeply and completely love, honor and approve of myself. Tap on the top of your head and think about all the trauma that's caused Fukushima going on for five years and how overwhelming it is. And think about how out of control we feel, like there's not much we can do. And think about like the solutions. We don't even know the solutions. We know the solutions are there. We just haven't found them yet. And think about how inadequate we feel and like frustrated. And just Keep tapping on that and keep thinking about how frustrated we feel that we can't change anything. It feels like no matter what we do, these monsters still have all the money and all the rules. And how out of control we feel and how useless we feel to our children and to our families. And yet that's not true because we're giving them hope. Just by us addressing it, we're giving them hope and we're helping them. Brad Yates says just do right here. David Childerly says use this whole area. I sort of do both. And then tap underneath your armpit. And keep thinking about the anxiety that it's caused. And even though all of that, I deeply and completely love, honor, and approve of myself. And even though I'm so overwhelmed by the grief and the death of the ocean and just the immense job that we have to stop these nuclear monsters from destroying all life on this earth. Even though all of that, I deeply and completely love, honor, approve, and accept myself. Well, I hope you tapped along with me. I hope you watch this video again and do some tapping. Those are the points that you hit. Karate chop, you start here. End it with, I deeply and completely love, honor, and approve of myself. The points at the top of your head goes right to your pineal gland. Right here on either side, the start of your eyebrow, the corner of your eye, your cheekbone, underneath your nose, the crease right here in your mouth, this clavicle area right around here. You can do your whole collarbone, this whole area, in fact. This is a good place to go when you are in a public space and you just need to calm yourself down, you can just do this. Underneath your arm, a bit awkward, but it, it's effective. And then you end here. You can go to the top of your head before you end here if you want. So I hope that helps people. Um, it helps me. It doesn't change anything, but at least I'm able to cope better, and I hope you're able to cope better. And through all of that, through all of us being together, um, we will make it through this. 
and our children will make it through and humanity will survive and the dolphins and the planet is going to survive and we're going to be part of the solution in fact we are part of the solution so most of you who are tuned in understand that we are part of the solution and that's why we're here so put your courage feet on you guys I'm going to be reading a little bit of that book and uh, let me just tell you what I really appreciate every single one of you who listen to my videos and watch my radio show or listen to the radio show with me um, it encourages me it gives me courage and, and and frankly it's a very warm space to be regarded with such kindness by people who don't even know me but I really have to say I appreciate every single one of you and I hope all of you have a really happy new year and you can face the challenges that we're all about to have and that we're all enduring with a sense of peace and knowingness that we're all one and through unity we can make it through this and we deserve each other we deserve to feel happy and um, I don't know I just refuse to be unhappy so hopefully I can share that joy with you guys and you know we can move through this next year together so put your courage feet on you guys ciao